Gay UC has a special way of bringing people together. I remember when I was younger going to Wednesday night youth group. We did the cereal shooting contest where you put a piece of kick cereal in your nose, plugged the other nostril, and blew hard to launch as far as you could. I remember me and Bev Kirk, one of the adult leaders, had the longest launch. Something so silly and absurd brought me closer to Bev, who ended up being my confirmation mentor and closer to my KUC friends. It also made KUC, which at the time sometimes felt very sacred and serious, feel more comfortable, fun, and familiar. To this day, Bev still helps with the youth group, and she regular asked, regularly asked me to come back as the reigning kick serial champion to show the other kids how it's done. My life at KUC started as a baby when I was baptized. Then I progressed to a joyful noise preschool where I got to hang out with kids who I remain very close friends with today. Soon after, I joined choir, attending memorable retreats led by Lisa Bond. My time in choir also resulted in a solo during the famous lessons and carol service. I sang the intro to Once in Royal David City, and my family still requests I sing it every year at Christmas, an offer I usually turn down, but it remains a special memory. Fast forward to high school. All of you have probably heard the amazing mission trips that KUC offers. I highly recommend the trips to any youth as it opened my eyes to different cultures, people, and I created new and stronger friendships. I have been on two trips, Cuba and Colombia, and I'm really hoping we can still go to Bahamas this summer. While we go on the trips to serve others and help those in need, it really helps us too. Everyone in the NTAP group seems very friendly and outgoing 24 seven. Despite the hard work, it is very refreshing to experience a week without the usual high school stress. When we spend a week putting others before ourselves, it is amazing how we are living those early Bible stories we learned in Sunday school. I know I always feel like a better person when I return home. My faith has become strongest through the interaction with fellow KUC members. When I thought about speaking today, I looked back on my confirmation Bible that Katie Lancaster presented, presented to me my freshman year. She chose a Bible verse for each confirmand that is written on the inside cover. The passage she chose for me is from James chapter 1, verse 17. Every good gift, every perfect gift, comes from above. These gifts come down from the Father, the creator of the heavenly lights, in whose character there is no change at all. Now, about four years later, I think about this verse, and I know that KUC has been a gift to me, a gift from God, in which I am surrounded by people who care about me, for friendships I have made, for serving others, and for the faith that continues to grow each day. Also, in my confirmation Bible, I found a note given to me from Bev. She sums it up best. Please remember that the most important thing about a church is that it is a group of people banded together to help each other and to help the wider world. It is not a beautiful building or a fancy preacher or lovely music, even though those things are nice. It is not some abstruse theological set of beliefs. Nope. It is just a bunch of medium, smart, loving human beings doing their very best to love and care for each other and do good in the world.